Instead, he works his way back free. Granlin, fire score! Hello and welcome to the Puck Drops Here podcast. I'm your host, John Crawford, along with my brother, Howie. Hey. Here for episode number 31. And, uh... We are uh, in deep in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And thankfully, my uh, Wild are still alive. We'll see you we get a game, a game two today here in uh, St. Paul. Yep. So uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. <clears throat> and um, how was your week this week, Kai? Long. Very yeah. long. Long. <laughs> I had to pick up an extra shift. Yeah, well, because I had to pick up an extra shift at my night job. So. Oh, I guess it does make it long. Yes, yes, it does. I, uh, I don't know. I've had a busy weekend already. Or Rogi did a lot of firsts this this week. <laughs> We took him to the beach for the very first time, which was really fun. We got to got some. That looked like he enjoyed the sand. Yes, he would jump in the water, of which he loves the water, and then he would jump into the sand and roll around in the sand. <laughs> like, oh, such a little kid, you know, just such a little kid. But it was awesome. I lucky he won't go near the water. Yeah, he, he, he would get in the water and, you know, uh, when the waves would come in a little bit, he'd kind of run away from them, but he would go back in. and So he, he's all right with the water. But then he would just get right into the sand. Yeah. Like he was trying to dry off or something. I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> he'd just roll around in the <laughs> sand. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> And uh, I guess that's all I have. I uh, as far as hockey news, Howie, I know we didn't mention this last week. Um, that the Las Vegas Golden Knights have their new head coach. Yes, I was actually reading some of that uh, this evening. Right, uh, Gerard Gallant. Yeah. Um. Who had left the Florida Panthers, and right, uh, which which I have news regarding them. Oh, okay. So. Uh, but I think it's going to be a good fit for Las Vegas. Uh, we'll, yeah. you know, um, we'll just see. I, I'm really interested to see how this expansion draft goes, and uh, yeah. what this team's going to look like. Uh, it should be really interesting. Yeah. Well, so what I was re- reading is an interview with Gallant, and I guess he was saying I mean, he's he's rather optimistic and feels that they'll be competitive out the gate, only because with this expansion, it's only one team drawing from players, right? As opposed to multiple, so there's 
Right. More of the grab bag, basically. Right. Right. So uh, he should have a pretty good pool of players. Yeah. Um, it it will be interesting to see. Uh, so we'll 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 see we'll see how it goes. And that's about all I had was was that. What what did you have about Florida? Uh, well, mine was, and you know, th this might look like fake news, but it's not. Uh, it's not fake news. Okay. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> Looks like fake news, but it's not. Well, apparently, uh, the NHL was going to do like a a uh, for kids a, a Where's Waldo thing. <laughs> Okay, but but they kind of scrapped that only because of the crowds in Florida, because it was it was just it was a little too easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it, so they kind of scrapped it because it, you know it's like right. there's no challenge there when you get to the Florida Panthers. Right, you know, I got you. Yeah, you know, like yeah, well, he's, yeah, he's, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, yeah, there's not much of a challenge there. But uh, I, I, I was though impressed though with that I, I went through some archives of uh, some Florida games because they're they're not all like this. Because you know I was saying you know well I think they're what the problem is is they're the time of the games. Right. Right. So I pulled I pulled some crowd pictures from. Uh, weekend afternoon game. Wait, you're and, you're you're there. You go. You're frozen there for a minute. There. You're frozen a lot right now. Howie. No. I'm gonna have to cut this out, buddy. Can you hear me? No. That's it. No. There you go. I think it's my connection. Oh, there you go. Oh. Okay. But yeah, this is an afternoon game. So, you, know, you get more people in the in the afternoon cuz you know they're all they're all awake. Right. <laughs> but I I I do good I do give these people credit though cuz uh -huh. you know cuz they're you know because they, they are all old, you, you think, you know, well, what, what kind of, you know, how much can they get into the games? Right. And I saw at one particular game, and I guess this is a normal routine during the afternoon games. And, you know, I might, you know, this is not fake news. Okay. <laughs> and these old people get kind of rowdy because I guess during... When during the afternoon games, I guess they do this after every goal. Okay. They'll, they'll pick someone in random in the crowd, and they'll just haul them around the arena. <laughs> no, they don't. That's <laughs> fake news. Look no, at the, the, uh huh? No, that's not fake news. That's real. That's, yeah. that's from the game. There, you know, he's getting they, they bring him all the way around the arena until he gets back to his seat again. Yeah, look at the jersey. <laughs> So yeah, I give the old guys credit for that. <laughs> After every goal that goes on. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would have to get down to one of those Florida games and kind of wild uh. <laughs> oh I have something uh, yeah that's all I yeah uh, I, that, yeah was it yesterday I can't remember if it was yesterday or day before yesterday Martha was cleaning out a bunch of stuff in our bedroom and underneath the bed she found something Ooh. I had 
Huh? Poop? <laughs> no. <laughs> From the dog. No. <laughs> Uh, something that I received from a TV star that I had met from the 90s. And it's sitting right here. Hang on. Yeah. From the 90s? I, I, I got to meet him. I thought he was pretty cool. And I have this big wooden case. You see this big wooden case? Yeah. Did I ever show you this? Do you remember this? I don't I don't know. Look at the front. Remember this show? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Over. okay, so let me open it up. Who was the person you met? You'll see here in a second. So inside A hammer. All, yeah, it's all velvet and it? It? Yeah. That's inside. And then uh, here it's autographed even. Can you see it? Oh, Tim Allen. Yeah, Tim Allen. So <laughs> I'd forgotten I had that. <laughs> Tim Allen hammer. That's fun. Yeah. Big old wooden box. It's got to be worth something. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all I had for news. Yeah. That was my real yeah. news segment. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's get into playoffs. the playoffs here, Howie. And man. Some surprises, and let me t start off with my grid first because I am out pretty much because I picked Chicago to go to the final, and I'm lost one of them already. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So you are still in it. I am pretty much out because I lost Chicago. I had them going to the Stanley Cup, and uh, man, Chicago, I, I couldn't believe. That they couldn't even win a game. Crazy. Yeah, I'm surprised they got swept. Yeah. But I'm glad they got swept. Me too, but four games. And congrats to Nashville, man. Um, they seem to be the team to beat right now. They're playing really good hockey. Um, and then Anaheim swept their series. And so they moved Yeah, on. that one pissed me yeah, I was really, uh, although I, I had uh, Anaheim uh, winning that winning that series, I just was really hoping that Calgary would get a couple games. Yeah, back. I had Anaheim advancing as well. Yeah. And then uh, Pittsburgh won their series, which I wasn't really happy about, but I did pick them to win that series. Um, so they moved I think on. I had you had Columbus, so you lost them. Yeah. But you're still in it because you have Washington and Minnesota. So you are still good. Well, I mean, I, I still got. I mean, Edmonton's still alive as well. That that's right. You're yeah. Edmonton is still alive. Still got Edmonton. I still got Montreal. Yeah. Or did I have the Rangers? I don't remember. Uh, I think I had the Rangers. Yeah, you had the Rangers. And that series could end today. It, it very well could end today. Yeah. Um, and that I think it starts at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, or no, that no, 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 no. That's 8 p.m. Eastern. 8 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, wild, wild play at 3 p.m. Eastern. That's right. And... Um, it, Let's talk about that series a little bit, Howie, because Minnesota, uh, they're out playing the Blues. I mean, they are. It's a really a weird series. Can't get anything in the damn net. Yeah. It's been a really strange series. And it hasn't been that they're losing by a lot because the games have all been close. Yeah, they're all low scoring. Yeah. Um, they just. 
haven't been. Although I think today, I think they're going to win today. I think they will win today at home. I hope so. Um, I hope so. It'll be a huge win if they do. Yeah. I think they'll win today. Yeah, that's going to put a lot of pressure on St. Louis going back home. Yeah. And then the the Edmonton San Jose series, which has also been a very good series, except for Game Four, where Edmonton got blown out seven nothing. Yeah, but have uh, all the other games have been really close, um, and uh, I have a feeling that San Jose is going to win this one today, and it's going to go to a seven game series. Although I had Edmonton winning today because I had them in six, and so did you, I believe. Yeah, you have them in six also. Yeah. I mean, I would love to see Edmonton finish them off. I would too, but I just have a feeling that this is going to go to seven. I think most of these games have been... Yeah. But, but I think between San Jose and Edmonton, I think Edmonton can beat Anaheim more than San Jose. I think so. I think Edmonton has a better shot at, at up against Anaheim than San Jose does. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. But whoever wins this series, I want them to take a Anaheim out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, whoever I, it I, is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario for me for a Stanley Cup is Anaheim and the Rangers. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I, 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 I just would not watch one game. <laughs> uh, like it, that, that would be 2017 would be one of those asterisks. Oh, uh, for me. Yeah. Well, they didn't, they <laughs> well, didn't there was that. no Stanley Cup was, that year. Yeah, yeah. There was no Stanley Cup that year. Yeah. <laughs> But the series that I've really, really enjoyed so far has been the Washington-Toronto series. Yes, I agree. Toronto has been amazing. And uh, they, yeah, they, they've they been right there with them. I mean, they have been right there with them. Step by step. I mean, it's been great. Yeah. And uh, I, I'd like to see them push it to a, a seventh game. Oh, so would I. So would I. I mean, even if they were to lose, that that's fine. But I would love to see him push Washington up against that wall. And, and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's been a great series, and um, and all those games have been. Every game has been overtime except Game Four. Yeah. Right. Every game. Uh, and then even that one was like a real close game. It was 5-4, I think, in game four. Yeah, that was 5-4. But all the other games have gone to overtime. E e yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, because, yeah. Right. Game two went to two overtime. Hey, hey. Fuck it, get <laughs> Who's he, barking at the neighbors? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So and then the the another series that's been really good has been the Boston Ottawa series. Yeah. Um. All real close games. Three of them in overtime. Yeah, which that will be on uh, tomorrow afternoon. Which tomorrow hopefully I can finish right. that one too. Right. Yeah. So today's games will be Minnesota St. Louis at three p.m. Eastern. Um, um, Montreal at New York and yeah, at 8 and Edmonton San Jose at 10.30 all Easter time yeah. so uh, some of these series we could see come to an end we could see Montreal end today uh, well all, all these all, all three of them yeah, all three can end today so so we'll see what happens. Um, but I, I think I'm going to predict that today that San Jose will win and take it to a game seven. I'm just going to say Minnesota wins and extends that series. 
And I think the Rangers may finish it up today. I'm going to say the Wild win. Yeah. The Canadians win. Yeah. And the Oilers close out their series. Okay. So we shall see. That we shall. Yeah. <clears throat> and then watch out for Toronto. Yeah. Watch out. So I That's think, pretty- Howie, I, I don't, I really don't have much more to say. No. I think, I think we've got it pretty much covered. All you know. Um, I'm pretty much out of my bracket, unless a miracle happens. Yeah. Um, and you know, uh, unless Washington goes all the way now, that's my own. That's my only thing because I have them winning the Stanley Cup. Right. So if Toronto takes them out. I'm I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. My bracket's closed. But I kind of like to see that happen. I don't mind giving up my bracket. No, and yeah, I'd like to see Toronto advance. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. And then that means they'd go against uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah. It'd be a tough series. It'd be a really good series, actually. So. All right, Howie. I think we'll wrap it up here. Uh, we'll keep it short. And uh, so thank you all for listening and watching our podcast. Uh, go out to our website at www.thepuckdropshere.com and uh, go over to our podcast page and you can catch our previous podcast there. Uh, send us a like on Facebook. S- tweet us on Twitter. And we are also on Instagram and Pinterest. Send us an email at John and Howie at thepuckdropshere.com. Send in your uh, pics. You can still send them in. I mean, you may as well. And we will catch you all next week. Until then, we bid you all adieu. Auf Wiedersehen.